I am Mr. Ish and I am welcoming all of you to this video. Thank you for joining me. The purpose of this video is to show you a calculus procedure which demonstrates the need for students to be proficient in trigonometry before they do or get into calculus. We have to do the integral of this entire expression here. It's a definite integral from 0 to pi. The derivative of this expression 1 divided by e exponent natural log tan square x plus sine square x plus cosine square x all within that dx integral. You have a function here, its derivative will then serve as the integrand of this definite integral. Start from the inside out. Everything will be here by means of many trigonometric identities to solve this out. We're looking here at this e exponent natural log tan square x plus sine square x plus cosine square x. Your first trigonometric identity is this right here. Sine square x plus cosine square x is equal to 1. You're looking at e exponent natural log tan square x plus 1. Your next trigonometric identity is right over here. This right here is equal to secant square x by means of a trigonometric identity. You have e exponent natural log secant square x. Your next trigonometric identity is really a natural log identity or property, but that itself is a trigonometric identity because natural logs fall into the realm of trigonometry. Anytime you're looking at e to the power of natural log x is always equal to x. This item which is being affected by the natural log is all of this expression equal to that. You know, you can do y is equal to e exponent natural log x. Take this over here and bring in the natural log. Natural log y is equal to natural log x, natural log e. That's equal to 1. Take this on the other side. Natural log y minus natural log x is equal to 0. Bring everything under a common log. Natural log y over x is equal to 0. Take the natural log on the other side. y over x is equal to e to the power of 0, which is 1. y is equal to x. Hence, you're seeing anytime you look at something like this, it's equal to x. If you're looking at something like this, it's going to equal to secant square x. This entire expression over here is now equal to derivative of this 1 over secant square x. Your next trigonometric identity is a reciprocal of this. This is equivalent to derivative of cosine square x. You have to do the chain rule. If u is equal to cosine x, function with regards to u is equal to u square. d over du, u square, du over dx, cosine x do all of this you'll have a 2u minus sine x bring in the u substitution your end result derivative is minus 2 sine x cosine x your next trigonometric identity is what this represents a double angle formula minus sine 2x and now all of this expression from the derivative up to the dx as you can see represents this that's what we're doing an integral of i've pushed the minus out now we're doing this. This is our integrand. u is equal to 2x. u substitution. du is equal to 2dx. dx is equal to du over 2. u1, u2, new limits. 0 and pi with regards to this. u1 is 0 times 2. u2 is 2 times pi, which is a 2 pi. What do we have? Minus 1 over 2, 0, 2 pi sine u du the antiderivative is a minus cosine u and that's what you have with a minus one or two sitting outside from a two pi and a zero the minus minus cancel out you have a cosine u over two everything here from a two pi and a zero cosine of two pi is a one cosine of zero is a one and your end result here is a zero this entire expression here in terms of its definite integral output is equal to a zero and it would be right but you had to do many trigonometric identities to arrive at it. In essence what happened was this entire function here, the derivative, all of this ended up looking as this as you saw minus sine 2x dx. If you were to graph it out it would be the reflection of sine 2x because the minus reflects it. You would be looking at something which would look like that. Here is 0, here is pi, and right here, you had a minus area, you had an equal positive area, net area below or and above the curve was equal to 0, hence the 0 we're getting. But this right here would be the graph of minus sine 2x. I'm not paying too much attention here to the exact specifics, but it's a general graph. You had a 0. That's what I'm showing you here. You have to do many trigonometric identities to solve this definite integral. But again, you cannot take trigonometry lightly as you have to be proficient in that to be successful in calculus. Have a good day. Thank you for watching.